We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. We arrive in Key West December 17th of 2020, just before some weather and Christmas. In order for me to arrange what I needed to do in person in order to sub at some of the schools in Key West during our stay. After arriving in our slip, we were excited to see another 44 Endeavor just behind us at the dock. No one was aboard, but we reached out on Facebook to Lady A and found out that she had an accident on the boat and had been flown home to have some care. We were excited to finally meet them when they would return. Apparently her accident left them in our slip, so the good guys at Garrison Bight found us a new spot that we were really happy with. So I'll give you a little view of where we are. That's coming into the bite where we are, our marina is. And um, we are just along um, Truman Avenue or Highway 1, US 1. So pretty close. So we're good about a mile from Duval, which is fine with us. Then the manatees came to visit. This is the best. We just never get tired of watching them. Christmas is here in Key West. This is my favorite house with the Grinch. And Jesse is coming to see us via the Fort Lauderdale Airport. We needed a rental car to go back to Fort Pierce and get the Mini Cooper, which we had left there while doing the bottom job and while traveling down to Key West. How to get to the airport to get a rental car? Well, you know us. We walked the two miles in the dark. It was an experience and maybe one we should not have chosen, but we arrived, got the car, so we could head out early the next morning to Fort Pierce then Fort Lauderdale to pick up Jesse and Harley for Christmas. This is Jesse's first trip to Key West, so we hit some things that she wanted to see, like the Hemingway House and the famous polydactyl cats with six toes. The Key West Lighthouse, where we were able to get some great shots from the Hemingway House, and the gardens at the West Martello Tower and their stunning flowers and greenery. Let's not forget lots of chickens. And of course we had to go to the Sunset Tiki Bar, the Rum Bar, and Geiger Key, some of our favorites. Now it's all baby splashes. Well, it's nice and calm. <laughs> That's what I call it calm. No big splashes behind that either. All of a sudden. We also spent some time on the beach that we discovered behind the West Martella Tower, and this became a favorite spot for Dee and I over the next few months. 
We enjoyed a beautiful Christmas day, and Jesse always helps us make our weird holidays the best by remembering all the traditions from her childhood. Jesus' Birthday Cake 2020. She definitely loves traditions. Sadly, Jesse left us the day after Christmas, but it was a great Christmas having her and Harley aboard. Did I mention that we bought a Jeep for Christmas? We're looking forward to having the Jeep here in Key West. The new year arrives and the end of our dock is full of power cats. We have a Manta and three Endeavors. It was great to meet everyone, especially Carlos and his family aboard Fat Cat. Now it's time to settle in and get the windlass working. So the parts have been ordered and the install has begun. Just as with most boat projects, there are always hiccups. In this case, the parts are not exactly the same. The diameter of the hole has to be increased by a fourth of an inch. But finally she is done and we can leave the dock. We were able to meet so many great people during our time in Key West. Let me share a few. Beginning in January, we met Rick and Christy on the dock. They are doing the loop and we enjoyed exchanging stories and hanging out in Key West together. We also met Inky and Grinot from Dublin, Georgia via South Africa. We hit it off immediately and we will see them again. Fast friends. Rudy and Sherry from Naples came for a visit and we enjoyed exploring Key West, especially on our bikes, as they brought theirs along and catching up since it's been a while since we had been together. I started subbing during January and enjoyed getting back around students. Dee and I enjoyed some great nights out, especially during the week before the crowded weekends would arrive. As always, we were regulars at Sunset Tiki Bar to watch the sun go down. Rick and Christy had a dinghy like ours, so they were able to make the run into the back country and explore with us. They did wait until we figured out the route. Sorry, no pictures of us running into the shallows twice trying to figure out our way. But it was a 10 mile run into the back country, but the reward was some private beach time away from the hustle and bustle of Key West. Some great time. At the end of January, we finally got a break from the winds, which had kept us at the dock, along with the windless issue, for over a month. Finally, we have a great weekend. I mean, a great weekend. We head out early and get the rods in the water. So we're headed out of Key West this morning. We're going to spend the weekend in the back country. There's a big yacht in. It's like Kismet. Let's look up and see who that is. It makes that yacht, which is very big, look very... Anyway, we're gonna head up the back country. Looks like we might be following this power cat in front of us. Headed out. View a sunset. And we're gonna walk around here and back at Key West. So I did look up Kismet. This shot is owned by the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars, Shahid Khan. This is the second Kismet he has had built. A stunning yacht, as you can see. But look her up and you can see all the details. She's even available to charter for $1.2 million a week. She entertains 12 guests and holds 28 crew. She is stunning. Fun fact, you can find Kismet in the movie Six Underground. Now back to our backcountry adventures. We were able to catch two Sarah mackerel on the, at the same time on the same ride near the end of our four-hour cruise. We'll be eating well tonight. We wiggled into Johnson Key, a spectacular anchorage. We got settled and dropped Shelby and set out to find Marvin Key. We knew where it was, but we just weren't sure how to get there from our anchorage. Just a little bit further. It took some time to find our way through and around the shallows, but we found a path and were able to get some beach time before heading back to Journey.
We ended the day with fresh grilled fish and a spectacular sunset into the calm Gulf waters. The next day we continued to explore in Shelby and found some great snorkeling and fishing spots. We picked around some places looking for a sandbar at Content Key, which we had heard about and finally found it. Another great spot. We tucked ourselves back in the back of the sandbar and enjoyed another beach day and sunshine. Once again the sunset did not disappoint and Dee flew the drone. Spectacular is the only word I can find to describe this anchorage. and more fish for breakfast before we head back to Key West. January is coming to a close and we end the month with an exploration up to Marathon in Willis, the name for our new Jeep. We really explored the Big Pine Key area, found some key deer, and explored a blue hole. Okay, this is not the blue holes we found in the Bahamas or other Caribbean countries, but it was a cool walk around the hole discovering the wildlife. We ended our day in the month of January at Castaways our favorite happy hour for both food and drinks in Marathon. Fun fact, Castaways was featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, oh. We are living in the moment, life full enjoyment.
Next up, bull riding and turtles. Oh, are you taking my picture? Yeah. <laughs> they're a poser, aren't they? And they were, uh, they were really pretty, huh? 